My wife told me, take $30 and buy a Christmas nativity scene. The rest you can spend in beer. Today, I'm going to recap a 2011 action-adventure film called Hannah. The film opens with a young girl stealthily moving through the snowy forest, tracking a deer. She gets close, fires her arrow, and hits the deer, which then flees. Eventually, she finds the wounded deer, approaches it, and ends its suffering. Just then, Eric emerges and advises her to be more alert next time. Hannah attempts to argue with Eric, but is overpowered. She learns from this and hauls the deer back to their home in the woods. Seeing her upset, Eric inquires about her mood. He advises her to be more cautious in the future and quizzes her on various languages and general knowledge. Later, Eric talks about blue whales and Hannah questions him about the sensation of music. He tries to describe music, but Hannah expresses a desire to experience it firsthand and asserts her readiness to explore the world beyond the forest. Eric then reveals a hidden book to her. She looks through it, sees some images, and falls asleep. The next day, Eric continues to train Hannah in combat, including speech, shooting, and physical combat exercises. That night, while Hannah is asleep, Eric attempts a surprise attack, but this time she prevails and declares her readiness to see the world. Later, Eric is seen uncovering an object buried outside. The following morning, Hannah is playing with a dog resembling a wolf when she hears a loud noise. An airplane flies overhead, thrilling her. She excitedly tells Eric about her wonderful experience. He suggests pressing a button if she really wants to leave the forest. After learning about the challenges of the outside world, Hannah decides not to leave and stays in the forest. In the next sequence, Eric shares with Hannah the story of the first animal sent into space. Hannah, closing her eyes, drifts off to sleep. The following morning, Eric gears up in his hunting attire and gathers his equipment. Before leaving their home, he inquires if Hannah wishes to join him in hunting. She declines politely, and Eric departs. Alone, Hannah moves to press the button, triggering an alarm instantly in an apartment. A woman there awakens, silences the alarm, and starts her day. Back in the forest, Eric returns from his hunting expedition to discover that Hannah has already pressed the button. He sits to ponder their next steps. Meanwhile, in an agency building, a man informs the woman from the apartment about a signal detected in the forest. They are able to pinpoint Eric's location, prompting an immediate meeting of senior agents. They debate over Eric Heller's fate, with some advocating for Interpol's involvement, while Marissa persuades the board to let their agency handle it. Elsewhere, an operative named Lewis determines Hannah's precise location. Back at the forest house, Eric dons a modern businessman's attire and leaves, leaving Hannah behind. That night, agents converge on the forest house. Two guards breach the house but are incapacitated by Hannah. As Lewis updates Marissa that Eric has evaded capture, she orders him to bring Hannah in, regardless. At the facility, Hannah is placed in a room and interviewed by an operative who tries to befriend her. When asked about her wishes, Hannah expresses a desire to speak with Marissa, who is listening in. Marissa then informs Lewis of her intention to arrive by nightfall, and the interview is temporarily suspended. At the facility, scientists analyze Hannah's blood and DNA samples and are taken aback by the results. The chief lab technician instructs his team to rerun the tests. As night falls, Marissa arrives at the facility and has her look-alike visit Hannah. Equipped with a microphone, the look-alike communicates with Hannah, relaying exactly what Marissa would say. Hannah, curious about how the look-alike knows her father Eric, hears a fabricated story about a rainy encounter with Eric in Prague. This emotionally affects Hannah, who embraces the look-alike, much to the disapproval of the observing agents. Fearing for their safety, the agents command soldiers to return Hannah to her cell. Two agents rush into the interview room and attempt to sedate Hannah, but she anticipates their move and neutralizes everyone present. She then exits the room and begins searching for an escape. Encountering multiple soldiers, she navigates her way into the facility's ventilation system, crawling to a locker room. There she confronts a person exiting the bathroom and points a gun at him, prompting him to lock himself in a locker. Hannah continues, pushing aside another scientist as she seeks freedom. 
Hannah eventually finds her way into a manhole cover, realizing the facility's isolated location. As army trucks drive overhead, she cleverly attaches herself to the underside of one for transport. Upon reaching a seemingly safe location, she detaches and gazes into the desert. Back at the facility, Marissa opens a safe, revealing, and then burning a file. This act triggers a flashback to a past mission where she had to eliminate a family. That family, it turns out, included Eric, young Hannah, and Johan, Hannah's mother, who narrowly escaped their fate. In the flashback, Eric manages to escape into the woods with young Hannah. In the present, as Hannah traverses the desert, she encounters Sophie, who is sightseeing. Hannah introduces herself in an unconventional manner, but Sophie dismisses her, soon joined by her little brother Miles. Sophie's parents call her back to their RV, and as she leaves, she offers Hannah a ride, which Hannah declines, preferring to walk. Meanwhile, Marissa, aboard the agency's private jet, instructs her team to focus on finding Eric, not Hannah. On the ground, Hannah approaches a river where a group of women are washing clothes. She takes one of the garments and heads into town. In town, she enters an elderly man's shop and communicates with him in a different language. Fascinated, she watches television in his shop, and the man allows her to spend the night. However, overwhelmed by the unfamiliar electronics, Hannah flees outside where she spots Sophie and Miles again. Back in the city, Marissa gets off a taxi and enters a bar called Safari, seeking assistance from the owner to locate Hannah. At a hotel, Hannah has dinner with Sophie and her parents. While Sophie talks incessantly, Hannah quietly eats. Sophie's parents inquire about Hannah's background, impressed and sympathetic upon hearing her story. That night, Hannah reflects on the Muslim prayers and examines a file. The next morning, Sophie argues with her parents in their RV, which is stuck in traffic. Unbeknownst to them, Hannah had hidden in their RV the previous night. In another scene, the man from earlier is shown tied to a chair and interrogated by two agents who find what they're looking for in his cameras. They then eliminate him and leave. Hannah, peeking from her hiding spot, checks for the two agents and notices them exiting their car and heading into the market. Meanwhile, Eric emerges from the ocean only to be confronted by two police officers. As the story unfolds, an agent lies in ambush for Sophie's RV on a bridge. When the RV passes beneath the agent on a bike, begins to tail them. Inside the RV, Hannah observes the family enjoying themselves. Elsewhere, Marissa and Lewis are seen exhuming the bodies of the policemen that Eric had neutralized to make his escape to the city. Marissa instructs Lewis not to alert Interpol about their situation. During the night, Hannah leaves her hiding spot and heads to a pool, drinking its water. Sophie emerges from the pool and points out boys playing foosball nearby. One of the boys catches Hannah's attention and takes her for a bike ride, which she finds thrilling. After the ride, everyone gathers around a bonfire to enjoy guitar music. Following the performance, Hannah and the bike boy sit awkwardly together. When he attempts to kiss her, Hannah reacts defensively and wrestles him to the ground. Sophie intervenes, asking Hannah to release him which she does, amicably parting ways with the boy. Meanwhile, three agents inspect the tents of campers. One of them opens a tent and encounters Miles, but they quickly move on. Sophie and Hannah dash to their tents, but Hannah pauses, sensing something amiss. In another scene, Marissa visits an elderly woman at night, conversing in their native language. The meeting concludes with Marissa attaching a silencer to her pistol and eliminating the woman. Back at the hotel, Sophie inquires about Hannah's origins. Hannah, unable to disclose her background, pleads for Sophie's understanding. Although Sophie expresses confusion over Hannah's secrecy, they continue their conversation. Hannah asks if they can remain friends, to which Sophie agrees and gifts her a friendship bracelet. In the morning, Sophie's parents search for Hannah. Sophie mentions they were out together the previous night. Amidst a discussion about her father's parenting, Hannah unexpectedly appears with a slab of meat, declaring she has found breakfast. In the unfolding narrative, Eric alights from a bus at a station and senses that he is being followed. He cautiously enters a subway and notices a man tailing him. Inside the subway, 
he spots additional agents and overhears one reporting his location to the agency. Eric then swiftly overpowers the agents, grabs a walkie-talkie, and gathers more information about Marissa. In another scene, Hannah is seen enjoying the breeze on her face while traveling in the passenger seat of a car, with Sophie's mother driving. Hannah notices a car trailing them. Meanwhile, Marissa is brushing her teeth while listening to a voice recording. She receives a call from Eric, and they briefly converse. Marissa attempts to persuade Eric to rejoin their organization. At that moment, an agent is shot outside her door. Realizing Eric has located her apartment, Marissa escapes through the window just as Eric breaks down her door. As night falls, the same car continues to follow Sophie's RV. Sophie's mother stops to check a map, and the pursuing car also halts. Sophie instructs everyone inside the RV to remain silent. Hannah expresses her gratitude to Sophie for her kindness and then flees with the agents in pursuit. They chase her through a labyrinth of shipping containers. During the chase, Sophie inadvertently witnesses Hannah incapacitating an agent and flees in terror. Hannah, meanwhile, fights for her survival and ultimately dives into the water at the port, evading the agents. The agents, losing track of Hannah, capture Sophie and her family, bringing them to Marissa. Marissa interrogates them separately to ascertain Hannah's location. In a twist, the scene shifts to show Hannah on a boat, being taken to an unknown destination. In this intense sequence at the black site, Marissa interrogates Miles, Sophie's brother, who reveals Hannah's intended destination. Hannah, having reached civilization, navigates through the streets to a forested area adorned with prehistoric animal sculptures. She finds a secluded home where a man, a friend of Eric's, warmly welcomes her. He provides Hannah with an envelope containing an address from Eric, food, and a passport, explaining she'll need a photo. Their discussion about Hannah's mother and music is interrupted when Marissa and her agents break into the residence. Hannah cleverly hides under a bed while the agents search the house, making lighthearted comments about Eric and Hannah. During the search, Marissa receives a call from her superior, reprimanding her for acting alone. Hannah uses this distraction to flee into the city, where she enters a cafe to look up information on Eric Heller. Meanwhile, Eric arrives at his friend's residence, spots the agents, and stealthily evades them. Hannah breaks into a house and confronts Eric, questioning if he is truly her father. Eric reveals the startling truth. Hannah is the result of a genetic experiment to create super soldiers. Despite this, he assures her of his love. As they attempt to leave the apartment, agents arrive and they split up to escape. Eric engages the agents in a foot chase and a fight, while Hannah escapes. However, Eric is shot by Marissa. Hannah returns to Eric's friend's house, finding it deserted, with Marissa's voice echoing in the background. Armed with an arrow, Hannah flees the building. Marissa catches up to Hannah in the woods. Despite Hannah's plea to be left alone, Marissa shoots at her, but Hannah retaliates with an arrow. Regaining consciousness, Hannah finds Marissa missing and follows her trail. She discovers Marissa attempting to escape, but as Marissa aims her gun at Hannah, she slips and falls. Hannah, seizing Marissa's gun, makes the decisive move to end Marissa's pursuit. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.